Well, it's William with the Riverstone Life, and we made it through our first day of orientation. So let's talk a little bit about that. What you do on your first day of orientation, you show up at this office, they uh, check you in, and then they send you down to have your truck inspected. So they make sure that you have all the equipment that is listed in that list. Um, they, you know, they check your hitches. They check to make sure you have a safety chain. They check to make sure you have zip ties. Um, you know, all the stuff. Even that printer. That printer I told you in the earlier videos that I bought. Yeah, they want to make sure you had that printer. Um, dash cam. You got to have a dash cam. You got to have this easy pass. Um, but the truck passed everything except the window tent. And I knew that the window tent was going to have to come out. But, you know, I tried sneaking one by them. I rolled my windows down and pulled up there and started talking to him and thought maybe they would miss it but no the guy knew what I was up to so he came out with his little thing and stuck it over the window and I had to remove the window tent from both of these two windows I still got to clean up the glue and stuff off them but so I'm just going to tell you right now if you have window tent you might as well just remove it before you even drive down here just get over it because I didn't want to remove it. I like having that window tent. I hate all that sun coming through. I like that my vehicle's shaded so people can't see things inside it. So, you know, it's if you want to do this work, it's just part of it. And I had a feeling it was going to happen because the hotel I stayed at last night that they paid one night for, um, they actually had all kinds of these guys there. So I walked around and looked at all their trucks. And I'm going to try to walk through there today and get a video of uh, the hotel and if there's any other vehicles there. But there was... There is a whole bunch for this company, so they must send everybody over there. And also, earlier I told you they paid for one night, and they did pay for one night. But originally when I talked to the lady on the phone, it was $119 a night. Once you tell them you're actually there for a wave, um, I only had to pay like $59. So my hotel expenses, from what I said in the first video, are going to be half of what I told you. So, um, you know, when this is all done, I'm going to show exactly what I spent and what I made but I made it through day one, met a lot of cool guys there, and a lot of them answered a lot of my questions already, because um, remember how I told you earlier that they have a company called Horizon, Indiana Transport, and Wave. Well, all those guys used to work for those other companies, and the reason they're working for Wave now is Wave pays the best out of all of them, and has to, seems to have the, the most units on their load board, so, um, assuming that's because you have the most jobs out there you can do um, the guy said that this company's you, I picked the best one I'm like well really they picked me and I also was told that the um, horizon and wave are kind of owned by the same family or something they're a completely different business but they are owned by the same people or the same family I don't want to say that exactly but because I got two different stories on that even the lady that was working there said they're nothing to, they don't do nothing together but they are you know owned by the same people so uh, so I'm glad I didn't even finish filling out those other those other job places and then the one guy told me he's worked for Indiana a bunch of times he told me just to stay away from that company so if you come across this video and you work for uh, Indiana Transport um, you know give us your opinion put it down there in the comments because I am clueless when it comes to that um, but I picked up some new subscribers to the channel I also got some phone numbers from some guys that have been doing this for a lot of years and can help me through a lot of this stuff and answer my questions. Um, they did tell me that they stay pretty busy except for June, July, and August are the slow times. And I'm okay with that because I would just go and do our family trips and me and Robin go on adventures during the slow times. So maybe this will all work out. And I, I did ask and Robin can go with me. She just has to fill out one little form and they need a picture of her driver's license on file. So that's not a problem. So that was one of my questions and making sure she could go with me. So I think they have to be over the age of 18. One guy said 21. I thought the lady told me 18. So, um, you know, as long as you're bringing somebody with you that's over 18, I think it's okay. They just have to have a driver's license to prove their age. So I did find out that. But otherwise, the truck passed everything. Um, I'm going to go back to the hotel and get the rest of this glue out of the windows here and finish cleaning them up, find something to eat, then I'm going to walk around the hotel and throw that into this video and give you an idea where it is if you decide to come to this place. Um, I think it's called Countryside and they, uh, they will discount your, at least give you one night, plus they discount you. And I know a lot of these guys stay there when they're up here getting 
getting loads and taking off and stuff. So, uh, so we made it through day one. Um, my insurance was cheaper. Uh, I, I purchased the insurance through that they had um, the million dollar policy that you have to have, um, and I got it for ninety dollars a month. Originally, it was a hundred and forty one is what I was kind of quoted, but after I went and paid for it today, it was $90 and some change. So some of my expenses that I first did in the first video are gonna be a little cheaper at this, you know, when I finally get done with all this. So I'm glad to see that. I'm glad that it's not costing me more money. But one thing to know, when you pay for your orientation here, you have to pay with check or cash. They don't take debit card, they don't take credit card, but they gave me time to go down to the local ATM down there and get cash because I didn't have a checkbook with me. I, I, I use debit cards and credit card for everything. So, um, you know, we need those traveling points. <laughs> so, so just remember, if you're going to come and do this class, make sure you bring cash. $195 in cash. Um, that was another thing that surprised me. Uh, I did my little road test. You basically hook onto a trailer and take it down and out of the lot and around the block and down a few back roads and shows that you know what you're doing and bring it back in so it wasn't that big a deal so you don't have to sweat that if you've ever hauled a trailer you won't have any problems there and if you know your truck you won't have any problems there so I think that that was all pretty simple um, but other than that the only thing I had to do to the truck that I disappointed on is the windows and the little cover that I have on the bed um, that's not a problem so um, I can have my little tonneau cover thing on there and fold it up when I'm hauling and leave it down when I'm you know when I'm hauling a travel trailer or something and keep everything locked up and hidden away so that's another question that I wanted answered but tomorrow I don't know what tomorrow is maybe tomorrow is learning how to do the log books and all that stuff um, there's a lot of paperwork there is one thing that I was surprised about is wherever you're let's say I'm res right now I, they my home place is Pennsylvania so when I drive here and pick up a load and I go deliver that load in you know Michigan or wherever um, I have to keep those log books going until I get back to my home base I need to find out a little bit more about that so if you know anything about that leave that in the comments or email me because I'm curious when it's somebody like me that travels around the whole country um, just because right now I'm in Pennsylvania I go and pick a load up for you I might go to Colorado if you don't have another load for me and spend time with my family or if I'm going down south, I might be going and spending with family in Florida. So I'm not gonna drive back home. So I need to find out a little bit more information about that because, you know, I thought once you dropped that load, you were done, you didn't need to do it in your logs. And if I wanted to drive 20 hours straight home, I can't. No, you have to you have to log your time logbook wise to get back to your location. So I need to figure that out because my location is gonna be different, and I'm sure a lot of people out there have different locations. So if you come across this video, and you've been doing this for years and you don't go back to your, you know, you live on the road in your RV and you got different, you know, different spots like that. So I'm going to have to do a little research on that. But I told you we're going to walk you through all these videos and we're going to, uh, you know, give you every information to make this easier. Because a lot of this information that I just gave you, I couldn't find out. I could have had this vehicle a little bit better when I, better ready when I got there. And I probably would have just cleaned my window tent out. I was just hoping I'd get by that they didn't enforce it that much. You know, I know that they don't care about it, but DOT cares about it. And my other DOT inspection, I got by with it. They didn't had the windows down, they didn't even look at it. So, but if you get the, you know, you get one officer that doesn't like you or having a bad day, he's going to write you up a ticket. So, um, I guess it's better to not have it on there. So, maybe I'll get some of those stick on little shades just to stick on it when I'm driving to keep the sun off me. But we'll figure it out. But, I'm gonna go get some video of this other place and add it to this and we'll be right back. Yeah, it's a sad day. Look at the truck. I can actually see right inside it now. I know most people think you put that window tent on there just to, you know, so people can't see you. It's not that. That window tent makes it so much cooler in that truck, temperature-wise. I drove from the orientation back to the hotel and I can already feel the sun bake in my neck and side of me. So that's just ridiculous. That's my only complaint about this whole trip so far. But look at that. I did get it all cleaned out of there. Need to wipe it down on the outside, but it's all gone. You know, you can have it in your back windows, but you can't have it in these two windows. It's a sad, sad day. 
I know I'm just a whiner folks but there's the truck like I said you can keep that on there and they had no issues with that flap unit at all most of the ones they have hang out here farther and the exhaust blows on them and they're only they're shorter they only come to like right here so even with that I thought they'd complain about this little bit right here but they didn't because it's already going farther than it should anyway so so that worked out perfectly so I'm glad that all worked out just gonna miss my window tent I'm gonna have to get something to stick on there so that that heat people that live out west if you live out west and you're at higher elevations you know what I'm talking about that sun in Colorado you know heats everything up so fast that you feel it on you all the time so ever since I lived in Colorado I've always had my vehicles tinted oh and you can look at it it even the back ones now look at how much lighter it is in there when I had those dark you couldn't even see in the back now with those open you can see in the back that sucks but look at can already see guys showing up here I'll walk around and show you this hotel this one works for horizon That's what he's hauling. And another transport. It's a different one. IN transport. That's what he's hauling. And we got another one over here. All these work trucks. He's even got a CB and he does. I didn't think those things even existed anymore. Yep. But I think that, I think a lot of people stay at this place. Um, the girls are in there right now cleaning the place up. It's all Amish women. I knew when I got here last night, it was really clean. When I first pulled up, I was a little concerned. But actually after I walked into my room and checked it all out, I'm like, this is a nice little room. Um, I think the bed was okay. I didn't sleep very well last night because thinking about this stuff, when you have no idea what you're getting into, but I did get all my paperwork signed, got all that stuff done, got all my insurance submitted and all that. I'm done for the day. Then tomorrow will be a new day. So we'll do another video about what happens tomorrow and if I actually get a load right away and if I take off right away. So but I wanted to show you this place in case you are thinking about getting into this and you sign up with Wave, well, they'll have you come stay here. But it's a cute little place, countryside in. Kind of room. Maybe it is Amish. Now that the Amish girls are cleaning it, maybe the whole thing is Amish. That road's kind of busy during the day, but I didn't hear nothing at night except the train tracks. You will hear trains. I have a sleep fan that we usually use all the time when me and Robin are together, and that drowns out any noise. And of course, she's not with me, so I don't have it. So I did hear the train a few times. But I just wanted to throw this little part in here but last night this whole thing was full of big trucks all delivering RVs fifth wheels and camper trailers and all that stuff so when you think about it you can't get any more RV than I am right now because not only do I live in an RV now I'm hauling them so I think this channel's got as real as it's going to get. <laughs> Robin shakes her head every time I talk about this stuff. But just remember, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Leave us some comments. You know, tell us your experience, if it was good or bad, so it gets out to the right people. But, you know, I'm going to do it, and we're going to see what's going to happen. So just remember, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back. Thank you for watching always.